All right, it is Monday, October 16th, around 8 p.m. Eastern Time, also market time. Let's take a look at the ES. All right, so what happened today, guys? Well, we got a bounce, right? What did I say? Like, if the big boys are going to come in to save this, they're going to come in around this area, right? It's like a nice little dip from a nice move to the upside, right? A nice bounce, right? There's going to be a sell-off in this area. We already talked about this in the previous videos. Watch them if you want to know more about that. And then... We have the sell-off here, two days of sell-off. That's that's real nice, right? Like, that's a real nice dip, dip buy right there. Boom. We finally got a little stabilization here. Boom. We, we popped here. Now, do I think this is going to go up? No. I don't think that. I think this is a really nice area to go short to more of the open pretty much, right? So, let's take a look at the uh, intraday and explain a little bit. So, we can see here the pop at the open, right? Well... A lot of people thought they're just going to gap down. And that's why, like, usually if you're going to trade, like if you're going to do a weekend trade like that and you're trying to buy calls or uh, puts, you're probably going to lose money, right? You're, pro you're always gambling when you do that, right? So you're probably going to lose more money than you're going to make in the long run, right? Over, over like a thousand trades, you're probably going to be negative. So let's, uh, yeah, so let's take a look at this. So we got this consolidation and we got this pop. Now... We basically got this pump, and then we started consolidating at the 4,400. And what, what did I say? What did I say? Like, this is the area to slam it, right? And you can see someone did try to slam it, but it got recovered real fast, which means that, whoever, like, basically what this means is, like, whoever slammed it here, they're just testing to see if uh, they, can, they can trap people short, right? Because they're, they're not done bringing this down. Like, they're not done, like, exchanging like, or like filling up short right that's that's basically the way i'm looking at it right now so do i think this is bullish it does look bullish right we did close strong right so could this like pop at the open and just like rip it to 4500 yes it could right and that was one of the scenarios that i talked about in my previous videos and that's probably a scenario that will happen if tomorrow we get like mega volume or something like that right or we just kind of start like trickling up a little by little little by little right like you want to like you want it to be like slow grindy to the top right if it's going to be real because you have to buy out all those fucking bag holders from days before that they, they're all got destroyed they're all holding bags now you got to buy through them right so pretty much that's the way i'm looking at it right now and yes i'm bearish so that's pretty much the short story is I see, I see this like dropping down. Now, could this go up to 4,500 and then drop down? Yes, it could. And that will be even more, it would be even better, right? So for now, we're going to find out what they're going to do around here because it's a really nice number to just make everybody, chop everybody out, right? So now we're going to need like a sharp move like this, but it needs to happen tomorrow during the day, preferably at the open. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Tomorrow, I'm short, and uh, that's it. <laughs> if we get a pop, I'm shorting that. If that uh, if that ends up being a lot of volume, then I might go long when I close my short. And that's the way I'm going to play it. All right, guys? I hope you guys had a good day. It was kind of boring, to be honest. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.